Welcome to Cincinnati. From where? This is from Harmony. Yeah, this right? is the Harmony New York style deli. Italian. Everything is vegan. Italian without onions. Because you don't yeah. like the onions. <laughs> right? I messed my stomach, stomach up. up. Yeah. yeah. Alright, let's see. Mm. The lunch meat tastes good though. It does. A little crunchy on the ends. Mmm. Mmm. It tastes bad. Yeah. It tastes like they got some oil and vinegar on it. Yeah. To make it like to, and it, they got good spices in the mm -hmm. meat. It tastes just like the Italian that I get from like the other regular shops. Oh my god, go I can't even tell this food is. I know, it has so much flavor. The meats, oh my gosh, this is so good. Mm. This is a 10, I'm no joke. Would you rate it a 10 or what would you rate it? Mm -hmm. It's just like a regular Italian, it's got a quinoa, mm -hmm. like it's veggie, good. fruit salad, kind of like, yeah, well, it's, it's got, 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 it's got apples, it's got. Butternut squash, cranberries, onions. red onions, <laughs> yeah, some kind of vinegar. It tastes like mm -hmm. it's real bright and refreshing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is good. This is really good. Mm -hmm. I would say. Um, all the delicious flavors That's like and colors. Eight. What do you think, like an eight? Mm -hmm. yeah. And the pecans in there. Yeah, I'd like to give it a crunch, like mm -hmm. a different texture. Yeah. So, Grandma Debbie's oh. Kitchen and Harmony Finley Market. Hey. Yep, come try it out. So, we got some other stuff from the Finley Market. What did we get, Monty? Um, Let's see, from Harmony, we got this big old thing of mac and cheese. It was like $16, but we took out like a quarter of it. And there's still so much left, so that's a good deal. And then, and then um, from Grandma Debbie's yeah, kitchen, Grandma we got Debbie's. this this pulled pork, and it's made with jackfruit. So we're gonna give that a try. That was like thirteen ninety nine a pound. A pound, yeah. And then we got a half a pound. About a half a pound fit in here. Yeah, so we're gonna give that a try um, with a couple things. Yeah, we're gonna eat it with some chips. Yeah. Let's see. All right, let's try the mac and cheese. Yeah. You try that. I'll try this, and then okay. we'll switch. I'm still thinking of it. It's spicy. Think, it has a little kick to it. Yeah, it has some spices and stuff. Okay, I'm gonna try this. If like I didn't say this is my sister Madi, I think I said it earlier. Mmm. Okay, this is good. I think I had it on like a taro chip. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's got that sweet tanginess that you like. I'm not convinced it's good. It is. It has a spice. I can't. Mm-hmm. I don't know what they're putting it in to make it spicy, but it's creamy. Mm hmm And it's fluffy. It's not like super heavy like mac and cheese gets. And the noodles are soft, but not mm -hmm. mush. Mm -hmm. but, all right, let's see what this tastes like. I want to see what it tastes like on its own first. It's good. I don't know what seasonings are in here, but it is. It tastes like a real cheese sauce. I think this is okay. It's not my, I like the mac and cheese more. Okay. I think it's, you know, jackfruit, I really like it, but there's, when it has that briny flavor, 
It's something that just turns me on. I know. I like the vinegar, like we had the salad right. earlier. I think you're looking for it. You're like, is it going to taste like this? Yeah. But what if you taste it on but one of these with things? salt. It might, you know. Right. Like taste it on there. there. I think, yeah, try that. Because I think it tasted good with the crunch and the salt. Like it kind of brought it all together. I'm going to taste it with this sweet potato. Hmm. You're right. I mean, then the chips are salty and sweet. Yeah, and actually yeah. Sweet. I don't know. I always like to add a crunch to stuff. You like it better with that? Mm-hmm. I still like the mac and cheese more, though. Mm-hmm. I'd say this is about a... You know what? Maybe it could use more barbecue sauce. Yeah, maybe. Well, I think um, I'd give this about a six. What do you think? Yeah. It has good flavor and stuff. Um, it just needs extra things. Yeah. It's um, almost like you need to put it on a sandwich and put some pickles or coleslaw or other things on there. A I coleslaw, know, coleslaw, would be good coleslaw with right? It, yeah. yeah, a vinegary coleslaw. Like something fatty. Mm -hmm. Because this is vegan, so it's not as, you know, right. much fat like meat. So yeah. with something fatty, mm -hmm. like coleslaw, mm, that sounds banging. But this is banging. <laughs> so I rate the mac and cheese, I'd say eight. Yeah, and I think how much this whole thing was like sixteen dollars. Like a I said, good this, deal. this is like enough for a family yes. for dinner because this is a huge bowl and we only took out a quarter. But yeah, the macaroni tended it's the perfect temperature, like cookness. Every time I take a bite, I like it more. It's a hit. It is a hit. <laughs> I would say they're both a hit. This isn't my favorite, but I would say somebody who doesn't mind that the jackfruit, somebody who doesn't mind the brininess. It wouldn't bother them. Yeah. But I think that if it had a little more barbecue sauce, it would take mm. some of that away. Yeah, I think if it just had anything else, like if we made it into sandwiches. It's from Chubby Bunny Bakery. So I guess um, Harmony sells their baked goods. And it's a pumpkin bar. And we want to do a yeah. taste test. Slits. And it's gluten-free and vegan. Yeah. So we're about to taste test it. It looks real moist. Yeah, and uh, um, it looks like the flowers they use is brown rice flour. And then they have potato starch, too. Yeah, and the girl said this was her favorite one from Chubby Bunny that worked at Harmony. So I'm, I'm gonna do a tasting size here. Oh my god. Because it'll look. Oh, you're gonna pick up that whole thing. Go ahead. Yeah, I am. I'm oh gonna go. It smells good. It smells oh, like it's super soft. Awesome. Oh, yeah. All right. Mm hmm. Mmm. Mmm. Mm, this sugary stuff slid right off the top. This frosting's sweet, but it's not too Ooh. sweet. You think it's too sweet? No. <laughs> what? No, I think it's, it's ginger good. too. It's good, yeah. There's a lot of really good spices. Like if you're if it was a tad bit sweeter, it would be too sweet, mm -hmm. but I'd say it's just mm -hmm. and it's good, it's fluffy, it's not like super dense. No, I mean at first when I picked it up, I was like, oh it feels too mm -hmm. dense, but mm -mm. Yum. It's like sticky-ish. Mm -hmm. It's like a really moist pumpkin bar. And mm -hmm. all the seasonings are really balanced and stuff. Yes. Damn. I'd say it's banging. Yeah. <laughs> I'd say it's... it's just as good as all the gluten and all of that. Yeah. yeah. What would you rate one to ten? I don't know. I would say like an eight. Mm-hmm. Yeah, eight. I mean, because it's, it's a very basic dessert, but it's really good. Yeah, and even though a lot of the basic desserts to make them vegan mm -hmm. and not be like yeah, gross. a hockey pot. Yeah, exactly. No, it's super moist. The frosting's light and fluffy, and mm -hmm. and it looks good sometimes. You're making me look like a pig over here. <laughs> it's banging. She's on vacation.